Evolve Shaman is actually doing pretty well in Top 1000 Legend, and it's also no joke in Diamond Legend 2. So, in this video I'm gonna give you a quick guide about Evolve Shaman, show you its mulligans, win rates, as well as some general tips, see you know how to play with and against this deck. So if you're serious about Hearthstone, drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget you can hand for some Hearthstone coaching and support me on Metafy groups. Now, let's check out the deck. Here's what the stats look like for the last 3 days in top 1000, and Evolve Shaman is the best Shaman deck up there. Uh, we can see it's at the 4th best deck. We can also see it from Diamond to Legend. Uh, it's not as amazing here. It's sitting around these here parts. This is not the exact same list, however. Here's all the Evolves. Yeah, it's still 56 with a very big sample size, so definitely nothing to scoff at. Here's what the list consists of. You have plenty of uh, cheap whiteboard enablers like Murloc Glowfin, like Patches, like Pop-Up Book. We also obviously have the location. We have a couple of copies of Thrall's Gift, which you could be using for control, but you can also just straight up Bloodlust the opponent for big damage. Cactus Cutters help you uh, draw your spells nice and quickly. You don't really want to be playing the spells on the turn you draw them, you just want to be uh, thinning out the deck so you can get your uh, Wave of Nostalgias and whatnot quicker. We also have Needle Rock Totems for extra card draw, a couple of Sigil of Skydiving, which you could stack on turn 4, getting 6 idiots on the board like that, and just straight up Wave of Nostalgia during the turn after, that would be pretty insane. Or you could be abusing it with things like Cookie, or you could be doing a turn 5 Sigils into a turn 6 Bloodlust like that for 24 damage, which is huge. Couple of trusty companions help you fin out the deck, like if you give this on your Murloc Glowfin, you can get another one like that, or the Cactus Cutters, or Cookie. If you give this to uh, the one, the zero one frogs, you're gonna be getting your uh, four or five frogs. If you give this to Patches, you're gonna be getting your Cookie, that kind of deal, pretty, pretty solid in the deck. We also have a Carefree Cookie, with which you could actually build some pretty neat boards if the opponent can't handle it easily. Gorgon Zormu helps you get 2 mana free minions on the board so you can actually get better evolves or just straight up stick him. Remixed uh, Totem Carver is also pretty decent, giving you an extra minion like that and they're all usually pretty good. Backstage Bouncers help you uh, stick your small minions easier because they're chunky taunts that come down to turn 3 or turn 4. Matching outfits, it's actually pretty nice in the deck, and um, the main purpose for this card is you want to be using it on a 10 drop idiot, mainly a sea giant, which turns it into the 8-5 reborn death knight uh, giant with rush, and that way you actually get the kill four big things with the help of the 8-5s because they have reborn and rush, so that can be pretty huge, and it's the only 11 drop in the game right now, so it's super reliable like that. You could also just use your muck pools on the sea giant to get a single if you just need that one. Um, but yeah, be smart about what you're using the exact evolves on. Wave of Nostalgia, you want to be using this when you have a lot more minions than the opponent, because uh, they're going to be the first ones that are going to be able to attack with those, so be careful. Galganeth, pretty nice. Uh, he also enables you to play a discount spell on the, on the first spell you basically cast each turn. Just don't uh, get baited into coining this guy and expecting to have a free spell. The coin was your free spell. And uh, you don't really have um, overload cards in here, so uh, you're not going to be using it for that. You want it for the free damage AoE and sometimes for the 20 damage, especially if you're against the Pirate Demon Hunter, because if they play the 2-4 idiot that damages them, when they take damage, you can literally deal 20 damage to the opponent that way. Ziliax is uh, the white buffer kind, kind with the plus one minus one, and a couple of Sea Giants, which you usually drop pretty easily. Matchup wise, here's what the stats show. Death Knights are not going to be great. Uh, big shamans are not uh, cool for you, heal priests are also pretty annoying, the rest pretty doable, however. As for the mulligans, uh, here we could look at the actual mulligan win rate, and yeah, Murloc on turn 1 is great, Gorgon Zormu, Patches, Ziliax, you would only consider holding on to if you have some wide enablers like uh, Sigil, like Pop-Up, like Murloc. Carefree Cookie could be pretty cool, Needle Rock uh, can be a consideration as well. Cactus Cutter is also fine, and if you have a good hand, you could even consider Backstage Bouncer or the Trusty Companion. If you're curving into the re Remix Totem uh, Carver, that can also be a consideration, and honestly the location is not that bad, but it's really not going to be doing much for you, so you'd much rather top deck this later. As for on the coin, it's not much different here, uh, but even Galganev becomes a bit more keepable here, the rest looks pretty much the same, however. All around that's it for the deck, not that expensive, not that cheap, definitely pretty strong and fun to play if you know how to do it. So, hope you enjoyed the guide, now let's check out some of the games. Hopeless. 
Okay, sigils are cool and all. Hmm. This hand is onto something. I think I'll go like that. Turn one Poopa book, maybe, if he plays a 2-2. Two -two. If he doesn't, maybe we coin out a Sigil. Okay, he poops out a 2-2, two -two, so we poop out a Poopa book. Poop it like it's hot. Cool thing about this deck is I can actually set up two Sigils on turn 4 and evolve them on 5. That'd be pretty neat. I can grab myself the frog right about now. Bouncer that is, not this. Could also coin out this thing. Now let's get the bouncer in the house. Let's bounce it up. It's also not bad for his weapon potential. Doesn't. Let's go like this for now. Got a bunch of small shit on the boards. Heck, if we top deck Wave of Nostalgia, that'd be pretty neat. Not the best for him. Good coin out of ping in the end. Will he though? Will he though? Doesn't. This ain't bad at all. No coins for you. On the big guy. Now it's real shipped. Okay. This is a turn where he can coin out his Tsunami, I do believe, so my way of nostalgia is a turn late. Real sad stuff. He does have exactly 8 mana Tsunami right now. With 2 coins, that is all. Not gonna go for it. Still tsunami. That's even worse because one extra minion on the board. Well, the important one lived, but still pretty, pretty shipped. One mana murloc, or patches at least, or pop up book would be great. This, not so much. Not so much, Chief, not so much. Evolving this guy into a 8 drop, also not the best thing in the world. I wonder. That ain't looking hot, man. Well, my shit is shit. His shit, not so shit. This seat's 4-5, so I will be killing the 8-8, eight eight, but I'm still pretty shat on.
Not great, yo, not great. The wave just came a turn later. Oh god. Ah, oh, jeez, Rick. Good news is I can evolve it into 11 drops, so... Uh, that is gonna be my 8-5 rush shit. Bad news, I'm supposed to be ahead, not behind. Out the draw. Okay. This evolves it into this again, right? So basically on freeze it and gives it reborn. I mean, we already have reborn on it, but yeah, get it. I could instead just Murloc. Think I will. This into a 7 drop might be the way. Or should I just evolve this crap? It's nice and annoying. Let's get a 7 drop. Now nah, let's make a 9 drop out of this. Just please don't be a 3-3. Free free. Acceptable. Okay. Not sure why he made those trades first. Why not do the trades on this shit? Okay, that was as annoying as it gets. Do I have Zilliax on this board? I was thinking about trading there, man. Fuck, what's that? On, Problem is he can play the freaking orbs soon, so that's gonna repeat Tsunami and shit. Is he gonna lock out? The whelp actually clutched there. Yeah, fudge. Face me, you coward. That was actually pretty good for me. Alas, Zilly did Pepsi. Um, five off lethal. That can go face. It also could whiff miserably. We have a nostalgia would be shit here unless I just clear everything. <sighs> if 
I'll kill this thing. It's never lethal now, actually. Hmm, maybe that wasn't so bright. Why didn't I try for Thrall's Gift? Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. I fucking missed lethal there. Why did I fill my board? This doesn't even summon shit now. Yeah, this was a messy turn now, wasn't it? And as always, the music decides to stop right when I have to actually think a little, and I decided not to. That was a messy turn right there. Fuck. Cocky's doing cocky things though. This gets into a rush. He's back to full, I still have lethal with bloodlust. Okay. After a bonehead play, I go with the five head play. Take those any day. Yeah. It's pretty cool that you have a reliable evolve. Your 10 drops always turn into the 8 5 rushers. Okay, patches for a change. That's new. Yeah, it's against Jambre, yeah. Let's fucking go. I think he was tankering with some Highlander nonsense last time I checked. I guess I can coin out backstage or some shit. Let's try like that. Jamborino. Fucking go. Let's not allow him to do some buff things. Next turn, I might coin out the bouncer on it. Or not. Hmm. Okay. Could get myself a rushy giant right about now. I think I'd rather just get a couple of taunties. Let's turn pointing Galgameth. Might not be the worst. He ain't doing much. Mazilliax is also up for grabs. 
Maybe you don't want the sea giant in shit. Okay, well. It is a six damage AoE turn if that's what he's rolling with. Sure wish it ain't. Shoot the shoot. Zilliax allows him to connect face a little. I'll connect face a little. Sure. Can we get him? The fuck we did. Guess to play a spell too. Please don't be free damage more. Doesn't. Doesn't play any spell there. Weird. Weird. I don't like him being wet on this board, you know? Should I have all this guy? Of course I should. It's cards. It's a lot healthier. It's also playing around potential 6 damage. There's a 6 damage. I forgot it's actually a 7 drop for some reason. I thought it's 6. There you go. Bloodlust me, dude. Uh, do I care about playing anything else first? I don't. That is exact damage. Okay, that definitely looked like Highlander, but he did not curve out well at all now, did he? Warrior of all people, that was gonna be disgusting. I can try like this. There's the wavy boy. Maybe if he has on Kilias or some crap. Well, it is on Kiliax, but uh, I don't need to play Murloc, I guess. If he temples out his totem, I can still Murloc and buff. It fucking does. It fucking does, of course he would. Okay, I got the good stuff. Gets a quicker on Kiliax. The stereo totem landing on the max stage bouncer would be nice. No such luck. Don't have the spit on that thing, could ya? Doesn't have the spit on that thing, let's fucking go then. He ain't Highlander, that much has been said, but we kinda had a feeling already.
another one. Do I poop on it? I'll poop on it. But uh, I should have done the trade differently now after Shock Fox with me. It's not really over, but it's definitely not gonna be great for him. He does have Zillion there, but he could have played it last turn. Goes for the Brawl. Sucks to be us, I guess. Hopefully at least something decent for us lives. Even the zero free totem would be okay. The zero free totem it is. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Okay, let's set up some of that brawl nonsense. Okay, landed on the fat guy this time for real. Hey, how's it going, DJ? Well, I didn't exactly ask for it, I just said it's the bare minimum of okay things. The bare minimum. Okay, shit lived, so uh, I could go with wave. Can I top deck a one drop? I can, and I did. Can, and I did. Could have been better. These guys don't have a 5 drop across of them, like fuck me man. This thing's kinda interesting, but not really. Does he have another brawl? Doesn't? Say that then, chief. Say that then, fella. It's not dead dead. Is he alive alive though? Next turn Celiacs can happen. So no need to put anything amazing out. Should I make a taunt? Rolls gift missing in action. Alrighty then. He has basically full health, but attacking my idiots into this thing does not sound too great to me. Fuck that. I mean, I could use cocky here and still connect a little, you know? But giving him this guy to have in his hydration, not exactly Da Vinci, is it? Nah, fuck it. I'ma uh, get some healing, cause why not? That's a charger. Oh, fuck me, man. Please don't kill me. Um, what was this shit again? What was this shit again? Mouth. Okay. Am I gonna be able to close this game before free turns? Let's see what he draws out his ass. Do they run straight up brawl? I think they did.
That ain't it. Is this your card? The fuck it is. Okay, well, all around the deck was fun. We had some nice uh, little jam sesh with it. Didn't do too much in terms of climbing, but the deck definitely has some good potential if you know what to do with it.